So this is me. My name is Travis Ridgen. I'm a Canadian hockey goalie playing my second season of pro in Sweden. And I've been blessed with playing this game for a living and being able to call it my job for the past two seasons. It's had its ups and downs. And right now, I'm on the down with a potentially season-ending knee injury. So I had a knee injury last summer, and it was an MCL sprain plus bursitis. Now, you're probably looking at that thinking, bursitis is nothing. You're a goalie. The MCL is probably going to be the biggest issue, but that's not the case. It took me over three months to get back to skating last summer. But thank God it was during the offseason, coupled that with the COV lockdowns, shutdowns, or whatever they're calling them these days, and I really didn't miss much. Now, I'm halfway through this season, and I just brought back this injury the other day. Now, it wasn't a freak accident or something like that. It was honestly my own stupidity, see? When I came back from my pro tryout in Norway, I left knowing that I needed to add more speed to my game. I wasn't fast enough, too slow, and I would do anything to get there and to fix this problem. But three weeks ago, I got this genius idea. I was going to tape weights to myself to build speed, and in theory, it seemed like a good idea, but I ended up bringing back this injury. Now, good news. There's no MCL issue, but the bad news is it's just bursitis, which was the problem that kept me out the longest last summer. Now, will it keep me out three months? I don't think so, but it's also not going to be a quick fix. And as fate would have it, Days after my injury, my agent gets me three offers to go play at the next division. And I don't know if my knee's going to be healthy enough to handle it. But today, I got to figure out what are we going to do with these offers? And more importantly, what am I going to do with my current team? Because I came to Sweden with the goal of helping us win. And that brings us to today. I did the day I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. It's shitty timing, bro, because of Christmas. Like, you didn't... And that's the thing too, you probably could have used some arrests. Like nothing you can do now, that's in the past. You just gotta Well, I don't know. All three of them are all three teams are gonna be like, oh, they're gonna f off. Yeah, but then we'll find another three teams, man. This is why I love you. This is why you're the best agent in the world. So have you ever heard the old saying when it rains it pours? This period of my career right now could be defined a hundred percent by that. I'm injured, I can't practice, I definitely can't play, both for my team or anybody else out there, but the biggest issue right now is my visa. I mean, you have uh, bag everything. Yep, I got my passport, I got everything. Okay. Okay, see you later, see Canada, dude. I was in shorts the other day. <laughs> when it was like plus eight, I was shorts, t-shirt, I was ready to roll. It's summertime. Awesome. Thank you so much. There you go. Have a nice day. As well. So I'm down in Gothenburg. I'm on a visa. I have a one-year visa, so I can stay in Sweden until I believe August 23rd of 22 of this year. Last year it came on like a 90-day well travelers permit. You come for the 90 days, you you know extend, and then you come for the full season. So I'm going down to the embassy this morning to get all that taken care of, so I can legally stay in the country. And they stopped harassing me to come in. Uh, 195 centimeters. I was anticipating that being like a three hour like interview process. I literally just took my picture of my fingerprints and told me to go home. That was it. So getting my visa done took way shorter than expected. And I got an important meeting coming up in about two hours or so from now. And I had a lot of time to kill. One of the things that I love doing since I left home is taking pictures of wherever I go. Send it to my mom, send it to my dad. It gives us something to talk about and it brings us closer to a time when I haven't seen him in over six months. So I was doing exactly that and I couldn't help but notice this hotel right here on top of the train station. Yep, this one right here. And I thought, wouldn't it be an amazing vantage point on top of Gothenburg for some photos? So check this out. So before the COV in Winnipeg, I'd always go to like hotels and whatnot and they would allow me to like get on the rooftop, take some video, take some footage, check this out. So I walk into the hotel and I ask him to take a few photos from the rooftop. Now. This is Raffle and he works at the hotel and he literally escorted me to the rooftop within 10 minutes of me walking through the front doors. And just like that, I was on top of all of downtown Gothenburg. Take a look at some of these views. This is why I love Sweden so much. This is all downtown Gothenburg with the central station and what? There's thousands of trains. The stadium over here, what's it called again? Old Ule. Old Ule. You have the downtown core over there with the sleepers. You have the inner city trains, lots of cool stuff. You've got some construction going on over here. Shout out to the First G Hotel uh, right by Central Station. They nice enough to let me on the rooftop and get some cool shots of uh, Gothenburg. So my roommate last year, Liam Sweeney, that I lived with in Stockholm when we were playing in Flemingsburg, I kind of miss him. We go on the trams, we go on the train, we go to explore. This is replacement. Yeah. 
you did what? You're doing good, man. You're doing really good. So we're at the Gothenburg Mall. Christmas shopping for my woman. We're doing Christmas in like April or like March whenever I come home and I don't really know what to get her because I'm not good with this kind of stuff. Get some coffee maybe? Roll with Victoria's Secret. You gotta think of these things before we leave the store. Oh my god. If I ever quit this YouTube thing, this is gonna be the first car I pick up. So the whole indoor shopping didn't really work out. We're trying to pick up something nice. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but he seemed really nice. So that was my journey through Gothenburg. I spent the next hour in Gothenburg Central Station waiting for my train, hopping on and riding it all the way back home from Gothenburg to Homestead. Usually about a two plus hour drive, but the train cuts it down to a 70 minute hike. But this right here is one of the reasons why I'm so thankful and I'm blessed to be living in Sweden. Yeah, you know, I'm injured and things may not be going the way that I want to as of late, but I'm lucky to have my freedoms, which if I'm being honest, haven't been in Canada for over two years. I'm able to go and hang out with my agent, go have lunch, go have a meeting, have a conversation, just hang out and have some good company. Being able to stay in the country that I call home and have for the past two seasons or any of the hockey opportunities I have coming up on the horizon around the corner. I actually think I've skated one time in the last like two weeks. We all think about three weeks. That's the amount of time that I'm probably gonna need to get this under control and skating again normally. I picked up, it's a, it's a stem machine. It's a stimulator, it's a TENS machine. It basically like throws electrical current into your muscles to kind of get some energy going because the area in my knee where the injury is not a lot of blood flow happens. This thing was like 250 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever. I really didn't have the money for it, but it's something that's hopefully gonna speed up the process and get me back on the ice because it's not fun being injured. Max Burgers. They got a brand new burger that just came out today called the Smoky Chipotle. I got the halloumi version, and then I also got the plant-based beef. Are you seeing this, camera guy? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing, are you kidding me? Oh my God. You know, the first time I came to Max here in the Homestead Gothenburg area, there was this really good looking blonde girl that I took here and uh, she forgot her wallet and then I had to pay. But it was really good, it was really good food. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Two things before we cap this episode. Number one, uh, there's a podcast that somebody recently recommended me called Sling on the Biscuit. Uh, it's hosted by this guy called Pat Shea. He played like NCAA once upon a time. I'll leave a link down in the description. They got some pretty cool guests too. Also, um, I don't know if the whole Monday, Thursday upload schedule is going to continue. I'd like to aim to continue doing that. Ugh, jeez, excuse me. For the time being, at least every Monday, maybe Monday, Thursday. See you for the next video.